Bank is also suspending a share buyback program, paying a reduced dividend, uh, canceling executive bonuses. Ryan, this is a serious hit. Yeah. Is it just Credit Suisse, or do you think the Archegos uh, fallout happens throughout the banking sector? Um, well, I think it's a good reminder that leverage is like a weapon of mass financial destruction. And a lot of investors right now are using a lot of leverage on their portfolio. And this isn't the first time this year we've seen this, Maria. You know, back when GameStop was hot, uh, back in January, you had another hedge fund blow up as well. So, you know, I think it's a reminder of the fact that leverage is dangerous. The other reminder I think it is, is if you think about Wall Street and you think about hedge fund managers, it's just ordinary people thinking they can do extraordinary things. And, you know, they can't. <laughs> so if you look at hedge funds, you know, relative to what the market's done for the last decade, they've dramatically underperformed. Now, I suspect a lot of that has to do with regulation. They used to trade on inside information, and they can't do that anymore. So I think where this is indicative of the whole market is you got to be very, very careful with leverage. And, you know, the other thing is, you know, own the indexes. You know, we own indexes in my firm because a lot of these professional managers that take lots of risk end up not doing very well at all. And let's face it, if you can listen at 7 a.m. every Tuesday to Dennis Gartman at Sage Wisdom, Ryan Payne Sage Wisdom, you can quote T.S. Eliot. That's where you want to get your information from, not these uh, leveraged strategies that never end up well. <laughs> All right. I like that. That's for sure. 